welcome back to Singapore. So since being here, we've really noticed and bought into the incredible Hawker Centre culture. And a Hawker Centre, for those that don't know, is essentially a massive warehouse full of food vendors. And some of this food is absolutely incredible, even Michelin star standard. So we thought whilst here, why not make an entire video dedicated to this incredible part of Singaporean culture and share it with you. So we're on our way to a Hawker Centre pretty soon. <laughs> well, yeah, just before we head into Hawker Centre, really wanted to show you a traditional breakfast here in Singapore, which we didn't know about and learned since being here this time. And let's head there and have breakfast. That's it. <laughs> let's do it. We headed to a place called Yakun Kaya Toast, which was extremely busy. We got ourselves a set meal, which came with a coffee, soft boiled eggs that you have with soy sauce, and Kaya Toast. Kaya Toast is a toast laid with butter and pandan custard. The combination of sweet and savory is just mind blowing. The eggs are beautifully creamy and marry up with the soy sauce just perfectly. Mm, mm, mm. And while we're on the way to the next Hawker Centre, I just wanted to share with you an incredible resource from the sponsor of today's video, BetterHelp. Just want to cut into the flow of the video here to talk to you a little bit about mental health. The fact that you need to look after your mental health is always something I've heard, it's always something that lots of us hear. But to be honest, until recently, it was never something I really gave much thought to. I always thought that I didn't really suffer with, with stress or with depression, anxiety. And that was until quite recently, to be honest. We were in Mexico and there was a lot going on in life around us. And yeah, one day, to be honest, everything got a bit much and I had a bit of a breakdown I guess you could call it that I was very very stressed pretty inconsolable to be honest thankfully Julia was there and it was at this period of time that Julia had just started using better help which are an online therapy company Julia recommended them to me and I'm gonna be honest I was a little bit uneasy about starting to use it but I agreed because I was in a very very stressed way it really has helped me three months down the line deal with a lot of stress, a lot of pressure that I was putting on myself. I actually heard a really good analogy recently, which is you take your car to be serviced once a year to stop problems down the road. You go to the gym to stop problems with your body and your physical health. You go to the dentist to stop cavities, but not many people really stop to think that you need to take care of your mental health. And that's a muscle. Your brain is something that needs looking after, needs constant care. And I was definitely neglecting that up until a few months ago and I can imagine there is thousands of people that feel the same way. I really wanted to jump on here and talk about better help and say if there's any of you that need help, that feel like you're stressed, feel like you're anxious, things have just got too much, whether it's at work, in your home life, other things going on around you, there is someone there to help. BetterHelp are an online therapy platform with qualified therapists that are there to help you all the time. You can speak to them whenever you want via messenger, text, and also schedule video chats with your therapist. The sign up process is really simple and you get assigned a therapist within 48 hours that you can always change if you're not comfortable. For us, it's been a godsend, both of us, because we're constantly on the road. We can't go to a physical therapist. So the fact it's online has been amazing. BetterHelp have given us a 10% discount for anyone that signs up using the link down below of your first month. And yeah, Seriously, take charge of your mental health. It's so important. It's something I've discovered the hard way and I hope you guys don't have to. Anyway, back to the video. Right, so we've left the center area for a little while and we've come out to the old airport road food center to try a couple of Singaporean classics.
Right, so we've got three absolute classics that are absolutely incredible here. We have got Kwa Tiao noodles. You're just checking all the translations out. <laughs> See if the pronunciations are right. We've got carrot cake, which is a Singaporean carrot cake. There's no carrots in there. It's actually radishu, radishes. <laughs> Apparently the word carrot and the word radish in Chinese are very similar. So when it got translated into English, it's now called carrot cake, which is really, really interesting. Not carrot cake as we know it. And this is cha siu noodles with chicken. So I think we think someone may correct us, but cha means meat. So yeah, they all look absolutely incredible. These are Singaporean staples and we've been so excited to try them. Let's not waste any more time. Let's tuck in. stir-fried not me and kwa tiao means flat noodles so stir-fried flat noodles there's also some yellow noodles in here and loads of seafood some bean sprouts a lot of soy sauce it looks absolutely incredible smells even better let's go for it mm. So, I love the difference in textures between the different noodles, that's amazing, and where it's been stir-fried is slightly like, not burnt as such, but it's got that slightly burnt flavour to the soy sauce, which is absolutely amazing. You can taste the bean sprouts, the chives in there, these prawns are staring at me, let's get stuck in. So good. So, so good. So this is carrot cake and it's made out of rice flour, radishes which are steamed and then cubed and then it's basically stir fried with egg, garlic, uh, some more radishes, light or black soy sauce. And it looks like this. like a, a big omelet basically. Yes, it is basically like a big omelet. It's quite oily though. Really? Pretty oily, yeah. It is, to me like, this is definitely like a comfort food. Mm -hmm. Really nice, it's very gently flavoured. It's slightly salty, but not like too salty, you know. I like the really um, crispy parts to it as well, let me just show you. So I wonder if this is like a breakfast food, like obviously we associate an omelette with having it at breakfast, but or if it's just an all day trick. I think it's all day trick. We've seen it everywhere, haven't we? Tarot cake. Mm -hmm.
we're just on the way out and we've seen something interesting that we wanted to try and we got fried durian and banana frita Want to try the fried durian first? Yeah. Can you smell it? Yeah. So we were told the other day that apparently durian here in Singapore comes from Malaysia and Malaysian durian is a lot stronger than Taiwan. That's what we tried with you in Thailand. It smells like candy. Very sweet. Oh, that actually smells really nice. Oh, that's salty. Smell it. Stinky one. So a banana fritter is something you can get in the UK and they usually at the fish and chip shops in there. And funny enough, it's something I've never tried. Don't know why, but first time for everything. Mm -hmm. Is it nice? It's good. Is it nice and durian? Yeah, I think so. So the banana is really where it's been cooked is really soft inside and then yeah just fried in that crispy crispy breadcrumbs beautiful oh and the drinks that we got were amazing so we wanted to try sugar cane we had the drinks we were really thirsty the sugar cane one i was really curious to try because i've seen these massive sugar canes and i guess they just juice them right there and I was expecting the lady to juice them in front of us but she like poured this jug that she had prepared and um, it tastes like caramel candy in the liquid form really interesting and the other one the sour soap one is my favorite drink now it's so good I guess here they put a bit of syrup and I had a couple of times some were really tasty but some are a bit too sweet sour soap on itself it is such an unusual fruit. I only tried it the other day and it tastes like, it is, I can't compare it to anything. It is quite sour, at the same time sweet. Maybe mildly like kiwi. And the texture is really interesting. It's like, it is quite weird. You know this tough bit of meat that you can get and you can't get through and you have to spit it out. It kinda, the texture is like that. But a bit softer, so it clunks up. It's very, it's very chewy. stringy yeah. and chewy. Stringy, yeah, yeah. Matt doesn't like it. No, I uh, <laughs> love the taste of the sour soap when it's juiced like yeah, that. But you just, like the, the, the texture was just. <laughs> it was less that I don't like it. It was more that I was just impatient. And I was getting annoyed with having to chew it <laughs> and it getting stringy. But the actual taste is really nice. Yeah, yeah. So it's a bit sour. It tastes really exotic. It's quite, it's not strong flavor as well, it's quite mild, that's it. But in the drink it's really refreshing and they put ice in there. And again, I had it as a shake the other day, it was so good. try everything we want to because we're only here for a couple more days but anyway we'll see you when we get hungry again I guess hunger came at us pretty quick so we headed over to a hawker center near our place we ordered mi goreng and mi kwa to be honest we had no idea what these were before we picked them but the pictures look really interesting and we weren't disappointed the mi kwa is a very thick soup, which is slightly spicy. The gravy is made from shrimp broth, shallots, lemongrass, galangal, and loads of other bits. As well as yellow egg noodles, this dish was stuffed with meat and all sorts of veggies. Really, really comforting. 
Migoreng was basically the dry version of the soup, but with fried noodles, not boiled. In fact, we later found out that mi goreng translates from Indonesian as fried noodles and mi kwa as noodle soup. satay chicken yes exactly I forgot the word it is like satay chicken um, it's got a kick to it as well it is quite spicy it is incredibly rich and quite um, very strong flavors it's got um, a car sort of flavor to it as well wow. there's a very rich uh, savory dish and here we have chicken some potato fish cakes soup, bean sprouts, oh, that is beautiful. Well, the rain started coming down pretty heavy, but nothing stops us. Nothing stops us. Not bad, two Singaporean dollars, and we look pretty cool. <laughs> funny. The funny thing is, it feels like the rain's actually stopped, to be honest. I mean, it hasn't stopped, but this is nothing like it was before. <laughs> Literally, as soon as we bought this thing, it's just calmed right down. To be honest, it doesn't feel like it's going to stop today. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe this is just a bit of a break. I thought you were going to say that the funny thing is, is I was pushing it all and I made it hard. <laughs> to be honest, I could have I just bought a bin liner. They would have been a lot cheaper as well and just ripped a hole for the head, but... There we go. You live and learn. <laughs> so we've made it to our last day already here in Singapore, which we're very upset about. And before we go, there's a couple more dishes that we really want to try. So we're on our way to Galing Baru Food Center or Hawker Center to try and find it. Right, okay, that didn't really work out. <laughs> so that hawker center is supposed to have a really good mi siam, which is a dish we really want to try. But yeah, that particular hawker stall was shut. So we're gonna go and try another hawker center. The amazing thing about Singapore is they are everywhere. Every kilometer you can find another one. So yeah, let's head to the next one along further up the road. <laughs> I just watched that last clip back and I said further up the road, by the way, <laughs> for anyone that, <laughs> probably everyone that was listening to that and was thinking, what did he just say? Further up the road or further up the road. Further up the road, further up the road.
couldn't find the dish that we really wanted to try, but got something different. Here we have clay pot dried chili frog, and this is rojak or rojak. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I'm really sorry, but that's it. So here, I think they're putting cucumbers, pineapple. Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> um, some I think like fried dough and possibly a radish and the sauce looks like there is honey something dark like molasses maybe it smells so interesting by the way it's like chilies and uh, what you call them peanuts as well let's try it looks very unusual to be honest and when i was reading about this dish apparently they can literally pretty much throw anything they want in there from what i gathered Very peanutty, quite um, a bit tangy. No, wait, maybe it's tamarind paste, maybe it's not um, molasses, maybe it's tamarind. It's quite tangy, slightly bitter as well. So it's very unusual. Hmm. This is like, um, I think, um, a fried dough that she air dried and then mix it all in with the sauce. It is quite spicy. Yeah, it's not quite like anything to be honest. Hmm. So let's try the chili clay pot dried frog. And we've seen this everywhere all over Singapore, especially in the area we're in now in Geylang. Um, yeah, every other place seems to sell it. So we've been incredibly interested to try it. So I'm glad we found it here. And yeah, let's give it a go. There's so many chilies in this sauce, by the way. I'm a little bit nervous. We never tried frog before. Thank you. Thank you. It's incredibly bony. The froggy. Mm. Oh, there are a lot of chilies. Mm. What's it taste like? I mean, this is a proper cop out, but it tastes like chicken. Really? It's got the texture of. It's more of a fishy texture to it. It's quite elastic, -y, but the actual taste is is really meaty, just like a chicken, really, like like a poultry, yeah. So if you got this given and you didn't know it was a frog, you would think it's a chicken? I think so, yeah. <laughs> I, would, I don't say, I can't really taste any difference to be honest. It's really nice though. Let's try the sauce as well, which looks naughty. Does it smell really spicy? Mmm. Does it? That's really spicy. That's really good though. So the sauce is really spicy here. That's slightly sweet, and that spice like really hits you in the back of the throat. It's like a proper smack of the chili. Like I think it's soaked in all of these chilies that are in the sauce, as well as the vegetables. It's quite fragrant as well, and it's almost like caramelized, the sauce. I think, like you say, it's slightly sweet. But yeah, that is incredibly spicy. Really good though. I bet it'd be perfect with the rice. It probably is chicken. We're like, yes, frog. <laughs> There's a slightly different texture, isn't there? Chicken's not that bony. Also true, yeah. Everything was so interesting. 
pretty good last meal here in Singapore, I think. I couldn't agree more. I'm so happy we tried the next stuff. Let's get out though, it's really hot. <laughs>